When most dragons die, they explode out in an energy that warps the landscape and those who are around it. But when gem dragons die, it's a little bit different and a little bit... I don't want to say cooler, but a little bit more extreme. Let's talk about it. So today we are going to be talking about dragon shards, and it is what happens when a gem dragon dies. So like I said, normal, most of the time when dragons die, they explode out in energy. But when a gem dragon dies, it condenses its energy. It is actually said when a gem dragon dies and it, its will and its memory and its life doesn't want to pass over, that it becomes this draconic shard, a, a gemstone, um, which the gemstone is very small and powerful. From this gemstone allows the gem dragon to create this psionic body that is almost stronger than their body was before. Most of the times, too, gem dragons, when they become a draconic shard, they will channel all of this energy into a weapon or some other magical item so this is kind of where we get sentient weapons in a way it's a, or it's a good way to create sentient weapons i should say just so you know like dragon shards when gem dragons do this their cr is 17. they are very strong this dragon in a gem can wipe most parties um so having a party member with a sword that has a gem dragon shard in it can be very interesting especially if it doesn't reveal itself. And I've always liked the idea of a Draconic Shard possibly acting as a Warlock because of how psionic and how full of will these dragons are. I feel, really feel like they could pass on some of their power and I think it would make a really cool player character. The last thing I want to say is if you use a Draconic Shard, it is said that most gem dragons who do become Draconic Shards still have something that they want to accomplish in their life. So it's a really good way to like push a quest forward or have an NPC who really needs something done. And it's also a very interesting NPC. Um, a dragon stuck in, in a gemstone uh, that your party can interact is really cool. And yeah, that is a draconic shard. I highly recommend checking them out. And I'm going to try. I'm trying to find a way to put them in my games right now. Um, and yeah, that is it. Have you ever used a draconic shard? What are your thoughts on this creature slash item? Uh, please let me know down below. I always like to see what you guys have to say. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. Be excellent to each other.